there are some interesting nuances to the matchup. Just like Sheik's can get crouch canceled to a very, very high percent, Sheik's have a really hard time breaking Yoshi's double jump super armor until a very, very high percent. And that and, and that actually messes with the chain grab too. Mm -hmm. Because if you're a frame late on your chain grab, he double jumps super armor nares, nares. and you can get messed up. Yep. And not to mention, Amsa, a master of the parry. Yeah. So talking about crouch canceling, I mean, he doesn't even do that. Yeah, he just exactly. takes the hit. Yeah. Flash, one of the top players in Japan, really good Sheik main. They've had a lot of experience against each other. And here we go, game number one. Video Game Bootcamp's own Amsa coming all the way out here from Japan to fight against Panda Gaming's Plup. Game one on Fountain. Wow, that was such a nice pickup from Plup. And you see, he didn't even bother to like start doing chain grabs. He's yeah. like, I'm just gonna go for follow-ups. Wow, they're both moving so fast right now. And he gets the nair there through it the is, super see? Can he get the follow-up? No, that sends him a bit too high. And a grab just like that. Oh, he wave landed, but he didn't get the turnaround, so he held his shield up. Yeah, and Waveland shield is actually real, real... Oh, and he's gone. Waveland shield is great against uh, Yoshi because Yoshi's shield drop is so essential to his gameplay, and that's most often what they're going to do when they're on a platform, since Yoshi cannot jump out of his shield. And we have the chain grab. Yeah, and, and a, a big important part of this matchup is also going to be when do you stop doing the chain grab? Right. Because how are they DIing when you finally stop doing that? Wow, that looked so weird. Nice! Nair on shield to down smash, takes a sock. Amsa looking very far behind right now. Yeah, but that was a great way to close it out. Ooh. Oh, and he just straight up air dodges by accident. So goodbye stock. Plup figuring out that all he has to do is shoot needles at the ledge and Amsa can't really do anything. Oh, man. Ooh. Dropped his shield at that exact moment. Yeah. Nice. Nicely done by Amza. He gets the edge guard. Can he finish it? Up tilt to Nair. Not quite. Plup has another chance. And he gets another Nair. Didn't get his... Oh, he did get his yeah, shield he back. Did, just barely. Oh, wow. Perseverance from Plup. Wow. Oh, it mid parried. He didn't even mean to parry, but he parried the grab by complete accident. Oh, man. And another okay. grab. This could be a down throw fair. Down throw back air, actually. I'm just trying to find ways in. Plump is playing so safe, though. Gets another grab. This could do it. Fair. Oh, you know, he goes nice. for up airy instead. Good stuff. And he's really good at these wave dash grabs. He's been punishing almost everything with it. Yeah. And he's been doing a good job of, uh, I, I like that he's going for these up air strings because Yoshi does have a really hard time getting down. Especially wow. And the dynasty. Down throw dynasty so smart. Plop just dominated on to Yeah, that was, that was not pretty. So uh, stage wise, Yoshi's favorite stage is usually Yoshi's story. Yeah, of course. Fittingly enough. Yep. Uh, and that's where we're going to see him go. Yep. This stage, great for Yoshi because that crazy, crazy platform movement becomes even more threatening. Yeah, the platform's so close together, you can just fly all over the place. But yeah, I, I like, Flup has been going for a ton of up airs to punish stuff, which I think is really good because at a certain Oh, wow. no. Wow! Oh, they both make it back somehow. And he gets him. And Ooh, he gets him. Again. And another yeah, nair. yeah, nice. Good stuff by Amsa to close out that stock. He takes first blood in this game, too. Yeah. When it looks like he wasn't doing so hot to start. Oh, great stuff. Yep. See, at a certain percent, that forward air just isn't going to kill Yoshi. You're going to have to try and break through the super armor, which is hard enough. Up air. Build so much percent because Yoshi cannot get down. Okay, on platform. Nice. And good tech follow up from Plup. Ooh, using that, that double jump, that falling back air. But just running in there with a grab is Plup. Good use of the super armor to get out, though. Okay. 
Gets him with up air. There yeah. it is. Wow. I'm surprised you didn't do that the last time because <laughs> the ceiling's so low. Exactly. Fair to yeah. up air should be his main killing uh, tool. Yeah. Dude, Plup is getting so many grabs. I don't know how he's so good at this. And no jump. Yep. yep. Can't make it back. Two stocks apiece. What? what? What was that? Plum oh chose the God. wrong moment to fall through that platform as he goes straight down. Opsa now with a hefty lead. Okay. What? <laughs> Why did that work? Why did that work? Uh, only Opsa knows. The egg from so close. What are these close eggs? I've never seen Opsa play like this with these really like, Ooh, wow. point blank eggs. Gonna Watch. stall. Paul Plump's figured out something to deal with this. Okay. Because he stands in center shades and he shoots needles, and it actually forces Amsa to air dodge back onto the stage. Yep, and we saw him mess up his air dodge last game and uh, die because of it. Exactly. Oh. Plump even sighs after that one. Oh, he knows. He knows. He knew. He knew Randall was coming. Check that clock. Did it have a four? Okay. That and that'll be do it. it. Nice. And Yoshi takes it. We're 1-1 between Plup and Amsa. All right. And you can see that Plup actually has a lot of experience in this matchup. Yeah, I, I think so. There's he's learned a lot of tricksies, but the one thing he's messing up is he's down throwing at very low percents where he can't get the chain grab, right. and Amsa's double jumping out. Right. So he goes to Battlefield. Uh, Final Destination, traditionally the best counter pick against Yoshi, but Plup can save it, so... I, and I guess that's what he wants to do. Okay, there we go. Oh, my God. Ooh. Doing that, that nair, but still getting the grab as Plup was falling. Yeah. And Plup has been doing a great job just staying grounded. He's letting Amsa do the crazy stuff, let Amsa come to him, and punish him for it. Wow. The nair will clean up that stock probably. Wow, he got his jump back? Doesn't matter, though. Yeah. So Amsa looking good right now over Plup. Oh, okay. nice, and there's no jump, so he's yeah. definitely dead. Good stuff. Back to Brawl. He's getting really good command grabs. That tongue's so good on landing. You normally catch your opponents trying to go for shield grabs, especially a Sheik who's like fishing for these grabs right now. And you've seen Plup's now adapting. When he gets a grab at low percents, he goes for up tilt instead of the chain grab because he knows he can't get it. Yeah, he needs to do that. There we nice. go. Nice. That was actually a shield drop fair. Yeah. Yeah, Plup, a master of those. Plup's movement in general with Sheik is so sick. It's uh, just awesome. I'm seeing a lot of strange aerial choices out of Amsa now. And there he goes, going for that chain grab again where he can't get it. Okay, what's the punish here? And the Nair, I don't think he has a jump. Nope. Yeah, he's first up, he back. Oh, but he thought he was landing on the platform. Good mix up wow, from Plum. those needles. Oh my god. That and a was great edge guard by Plum. So smooth. Plum. On the turn of a dime, just takes it. Plup is playing this matchup so unlike any other Sheik we've seen before, and you, and it's paying off so well. Yeah. He's getting a lot, he's exploiting a lot of Yoshi's weaknesses that people haven't been exploiting before, and it's getting him possibly this game three here. Oh, he wanted to fall through there. Did you see the, what was that, quadruple wave yeah. dash? It's a <laughs> <laughs> and Amsa will take that, but a lot of ground to make up. Yeah, and, and, He's close to, if he trades a double jump with a fair, it's not gonna work anymore. And that'll do it. There we go. Oh, oh he hit the ground. I didn't expect him to hit the ground there. Wow. There we go. How is he still living? Incredible DI. Oh. Getting out of there with the light shield. He's still living. I, oh I'm, not, I'm not gonna say it this time. Oh my god. 186%. Ooh, there wow. we go. That'll finally do it as Plup gets a two stock on Amsa. Man, I love how Amsa laughs every time uh, 
every time anything happens, honestly. Yeah, Ansa is such a happy player. We He's have, just like, yeah. We have two of the smiliest players in the entire scene <laughs> on screen right oh, now. Oh, for sure. Although Plup's not really showing it right now. He does it when he plays. It's kind of it's kind of silly. But honestly, Amsa is a very strong player, but Plup has just been giving him that work. Yeah, and He's, here's... I mean, he just really knows how to play this matchup in a really interesting way, like you were saying. We also see Amsa forced back to Battlefield. Yoshi doesn't have a lot of great stages in this matchup. And the down throw up air, not going to kill. Yoshi notoriously heavy. Very fat dinosaur. Ooh. Hey, very nicely done. Shooting needles low and then stealing that edge out from under him. Ooh, he, I think he just up aired all of those needles. Yep. Nice. But that was really smart by Plup going for the trade. Plup can definitely afford to trade with this insane lead. He's continuing to build up. He's now a full stock ahead. Yeah. Rolls through the down B. Oh. And it looks like Plup knows when he's going to be contesting super armor. He's just putting on the damage. Yeah. Which is good. Because then next time you contest it, it becomes more than just damage. Fair. That was a very unsafe back here. He's going to hold the ledge. Oh, nice. Using the fair, knowing huh. that side B has no hitbox in the air. That was really interesting from Plup. He up aired Omsa's super armor. And because of that, he got basically a free punish because he knew what recovery options he had left. Yeah, there, that's, it's, unfortunately for Yoshi, he has to use that double jump, but it's his only good recovery option. Yeah. And we might see at, oh, he drops the chain grab, unfortunately. But I mean, this, this is almost looking Ooh. like a wrap for Plop. Well, don't speak too soon. That was really great from Monza. Yeah, he looks confused. I think he meant to get hit by that egg. And then air dodge on afterwards. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh, the armor coming through in the clutch for Amsa, who's only down in percent, not down in stocks anymore. Armor helping him out again. Back air. Oh, that works too. Nice. And Plup. And this is the other thing Plup's been doing so well. I mean, Amsa's not making it back to the stage anymore. Yeah, no. And that's something a lot of players have struggled with against Amsa. Oh yeah, I Plup's, mean, Plup saying no, thank you. Yeah, you can, you can. Yoshi's recovery is is not great, but it is unlike anything else in the game, and dealing with it can be real hard. Whoa! Whoa! He waited for the spot dodge, but didn't punish it. And there we go. The dynasty, not enough to kill quite yet. Don't think it was Tipper. Just smacking that egg out of the sky. Man, how fast were his reaction times to be able to do that? So oh, quick? he's 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 something special for sure. Wow. Okay. And a good movement there. Ooh. Okay. That might be the stock. No, oh, he gets the elevation sweet spot, but a quick nair from Amsa. Now, okay. this is technically doable, but Plup's been playing so well, I don't see it happening. Plup continuing to just put on hitboxes, space around Amsa, not let him get anything he wants. Yeah, we saw Amsa with a real quick stock earlier this game, though. And we saw him parry that landing forward air. We haven't seen a lot of parries, but bad oh, DI on the it. back air. That is game. Amsa gets 13th at pound 2016. Plup moving on to top 12. Yeah, and there's a smile from him. That was a very fun...